Here's what you do. Make your dinner. Get your glass of wine. And get ready. Hey y'all, welcome back. Vlogmas day. What day are we on? Eight? Are we on eight? Vlogmas day eight. Yes, we're on vlogmas day eight. I am currently making some dinner. I'm just making some pasta. Y'all know we love Alfredo sauce. But I'm making some homemade Alfredo sauce with some noodles. And I have this like mild sausage. So I'm going to put sausage in it instead of like chicken or, or um, salmon. And I'm going to have a glass of wine tonight. I'm so excited. I'm just going to have a small glass though. Because um, like I was telling y'all yesterday. Trey do not, he do not care. And he will have me in here about to cry with him, okay? I had a stressful day, a stressful day. I feel like I'm overthinking a lot of things. That's from work to business related to YouTube. Like I feel like I'm just overthinking it and I need to just relax and just do what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just cooking and winding down. I'm winding down. Like I said, I eat, it's it's after five. I had a work meeting and it went kind of over, but that's not a problem. I'm cooking now and I'm gonna eat here soon. And then I do wanna like just sit down and kind of talk to you guys a little bit today. Um, I have something that I would like to share with y'all because it's been on my heart to share. I think I'm gonna cook and I'll eat and, and talk to you guys about it. That's a good idea. Just a little dinner, have dinner with me. Yeah, let's do that, have dinner with me. Here's what you do, make your dinner, get your glass of wine, and get ready. Trey may be in the video, cause you know, I'm the only one here, so he's up my butt. <laughs> I'm making literally a little bit of pasta. Because I don't, if I make a whole big thing of pasta, I'm gonna get a big plate of pasta and I don't need that. All right, y'all. I hope y'all got y'all's wine because I got mine and your food. I'm about to tear it up. I didn't do the presentation well, so I'm not gonna show you. I just slapped it on my plate because he was crying. I'm about to nurse him before I get into this drinking. Okay, so I forgot to share with y'all um, the message on Sunday. It was a great message. I felt like it was for me. I don't know why him, I put him on this side because I'm gonna have to eat my left hand. Y'all will understand <laughs> once I get to talking about it. I feel like lately I've been, you know, stressing about, not even stressing, just worried about what's next. I guess I can give you guys a few examples. I've been worried about um, how I'm gonna buy certain things. I've been worried about, um, oh, is my YouTube gonna take, it, take off? Is my content good enough? Um, you know, just worried about just different things, a lot of different things, like a lot's on my mind as probably everyone, but a lot has been on my mind and I've been worried about a lot. And this message came across me. When I logged into church, the message, I felt like it was for me. So I just wanted to share it with hopes, I guess, to help maybe someone going through the same thing I am or you know just worried like i am whatever 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 you're going through i feel like this could help you no matter what you're going through so i ha I took some notes during the service so that i could share them with you guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and go down my whole list 
um, of what was talked about and then I will talk about it after I go down the list. Number one is approaching God expecting to get what we ask for tonight, tomorrow, a month from now. Um, one thing the pastor did say is God has it and he is preparing you for it. At the moment you're asking him for it, you may not be in the condition to receive it. So that's big for me. Maybe you're not in the position to receive that at that time. You have to do some correcting and be impatient before we can even receive what God already has for us. The determining factor of your blessing depends on you. So we have to get to the finish line to get what he has for us. So if we stop, um, if we stop literally in the middle, how do we expect to get what we, what we desire, what we ask God for? If we're not putting in the work to receive what we're asking him for, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So say you want a new car. You want a new car. You desire to have a new car, a brand new car, but you're missing days, calling out sick, not working, not showing up not hitting your mark, your expecting mark at work, because you're not going to work, then how do you expect to get that new car if you have no, you're not, you're not going to work getting the income to be able to afford the car? One of my notes that I put on here for me is removing things from the outside. So things that are distracting you or don't have the same mindset as you or aren't driving you to meet your goals that whether that be things people um whatever that may be it could be you sitting down and watching tv okay it's time to remove the tv from your room it could be um your significant other distracting you um not motivating you kick them to the curb <laughs> it's easier said than done i know but I'm just using that as an example. So if you have people and things around you that aren't helping you, motivating you, um, driving you to reach your goal, then it's probably time to cut the ties. Um, literally, cut, cut the cord. Me and my friends were talking and he's a distraction, he gotta go. <laughs> he gotta go no but talking about how it's hard it's hard to remove people that you've been around for so long um that you've been around for your whole life you know or people that you love like family members and things like that it's hard it's hard to disconnect from that because at the end of the day that's all you've known and you've been with them from the start you know what i mean so i know we're scared maybe to remove these people or to take these steps in the direction of growth, but it's time to grow. If you would have told me a couple of months ago that I would have this many subscribers or I would still be into YouTube, I would have told you you're lying because I tried it before and it just didn't work out. But now I've dedicated myself to this and I see how God is working through me, through my channel and just literally blessing me day by day i've been asking you know please lord just just help me help me stay committed stay dedicated to your word and to this youtube channel and what have i been doing i've been reading i've been praying every day i've been posting every day for vlogmas never thought i could do this yes i had a day that i skipped i didn't skip recording i skipped with uploading because i was just tired but like i'm listening to my body i am a mom a full-time mother and you know he goes through things as well um like he's going through the sleep regression i asked god to give me patience for that just give me patience and just be with me through this whole motherhood journey I want to be the best I can for him and be able to have patience with him. <laughs> you spitting? Yeah. 
be able to have patience with him when he's maybe not feeling well, when he's having a hard time sleeping, when he's going through whatever he's going through, I need to be able to have the patience to deal with it. And I think that's what has helped me before pregnancy like my pregnancy went smooth like you know I, I hear a lot of things about how pregnancy goes for certain people people have issues and things like that and my pregnancy was smooth I was just trusting in God through the whole thing that's the whole thing my whole point is to have faith in God be patient be still and your prayers will get answered i promise you god does not work on our time he works on his time and i can't stress that enough before um in the past i was just like well why like you know questioning god well why ain't it happening or why this person or why that person got this and it's just it's not about that like stay in your own lane worry about yourself build your own relationship with god or whoever you believe in and stick to it we all have our own race to run, so stay in your own lane and run that race. He has a plan for everyone. You just got to figure out what his plan is for you. I literally believe this, this is what I'm called to do. I'm called to share my life with you guys, share my relationship with God with you guys. Um, just, just share everything that I can. Um, I can with you guys or everything that I'm comfortable sharing with you guys. I will be completely 100% honest on this channel. Um, you see I come on here looking like anything whenever because I'm just 100% me. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I can be myself. I have some great supporters and you all. I don't think I don't see the people who comment every single time. I see y'all. We're like this. Okay, y'all's in the comments every video supporting me. People message me on Instagram like I see y'all and y'all are family and I appreciate you guys. And, and I'm sure Trey Trey does. Y'all seem to love him. Trey, Trey, that food is not yours. Trey, look. Say hi. Hello. Hello, people. Say hi. Hello. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and quickly just vent to you guys because I feel like I don't do sit downs. I do mostly vlogs, but I just felt like this was on my heart to share. Um, I'll share as much as I can with you guys. But that's all I have for you guys today. It's really not a vlog. It's just a little sit down. Dude. He just dipped his hand in my pasta. And I just wanted to share you a message that um, I got on Sunday. I thought you guys would be interested and I could help you guys with anyone struggling, feeling like lost or stressed or just worried, you know, just worried about everything. God is good. I prayed for this little boy and here he is. I prayed for the life I have now and it's, it's great, honestly. Um, honestly it's really it's really good so i can't complain and if you guys want to vent or anything feel free to leave a comment message me on instagram like i said i'll be happy to talk um that's what i'm here for i'm sure you guys will be there for me if i needed to vent or talk like you are now if you made it this far please like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another upload and i will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day nine